We have a big bull elk here chasing that doe. There he is. You can see his horn sometimes. Uh, he's doing the old mating call. I'll go to white hot for a minute. You can barely see his horns. He's trying to get in good with the girls out there. It's a bunch of them. Haven't really calibrated. And there's the one with the big horns. He got loving on his mind. Looking at us. Well, he is so much hotter than the rest of them. His body temperature is up. That's what happens when you chase the girls. <laughs> He's like a light bulb compared to the rest of them. And over there, we have about 50 buffalo. And they have slowed the cars and backed them all the way up about a mile. They've been crossing the road. Here's the bull. He was just sideways and very bright. You can see his horns there a little bit. I can see him very clearly here. The video may not show them that well. He's prancing through the herd. He's the one that's brighter because his body temperature is elevated. He's not having any luck. I doubt these does want to be carrying a calf through a Yellowstone winter. So they're probably not going to be, there he is, you can see him looking at us. And I'm at, on, I'm at uh, about six power, and they're about a half a mile away. You can see it's a little jerky. If you go over 10, 10x, you just about have to have a tripod, you can't hold it steady enough. He's chasing that one. There's a nice herd of buffalo. They are probably three quarters of a mile away. I'm going to, I will increase the magnification. This is almost 3x and almost 6x. If I can focus a little better. Nothing can hide if you're warm. Recalibrate and see if that'll bring it in a little bit. That is quite a distance. The ba cars were backed up when they were crossing the highway for about a mile at sunset. <laughs> 